Hey everyone, today I'm working on a PSP 1000 that came in with backlight issues. The console powered on, but the screen wouldn't light up properly. After doing some diagnosing, testing, I found the issue was tied to the backlight fuse on the motherboard. Now, I lost a lot of footage of this particular console because uh, my SD card failed on my camera and I've been having a lot of issues with storage as of late. So I had to delete a lot of my old content on my hard drive so I can get some new fresh content coming here on the channel soon. So the first thing I did was check the fuses with the multimeter and the fuse responsible for the LCD backlight wasn't passing continuity, no beep on the meter basically which confirmed it was blown. So this is a common issue, especially on older PSP 1000 boards. Luckily, I had a dead donor motherboard on hand. I removed a working fuse from that board and transplanted it onto this PSP. Once the new fuse was in place, the backlight was restored and the system powered the screen like it should. Initially, the customer wanted to install an IPS screen for an upgrade on the visuals. Now here's something a lot of people run into when installing a IPS screen on a PSP 1000. The customer had originally tried using some kind of soldering paint or paste to connect the two pads required for the mod. While that can work temporarily, it's not reliable. I removed the paste and soldered the two points properly. You'll notice the IPS screen won't display the full image. Usually the top portion of the screen gets cut off. Even many resellers mention this in their listings because customers often return IPS kits thinking the screens are defective when really it's just this small but crucial solder bridge that wasn't done correctly. After replacing the fuse and bridging those points correctly, I reassembled the system. The PSP powered on and the backlight worked. The IPS screen displayed beautifully without any cutoff issues. This kind of repair shows how important it is to not only diagnose hardware issues like blown fuses, but also to understand the details of common mods so you don't run into problems later. So that's how I fixed this PSP 1000 with backlight problems and ensure the IPS upgrade worked the way it's supposed to. If you're doing an IPS install yourself, remember, always check your fuses and make sure you solder those two points. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing for more repair guides, console mods, and preservation content. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.